Hi, I'm Utopia Langley and welcome to She's Got Flavor. So it's Thanksgiving, one of my favorite times of the year. And there's nothing better than some homemade cranberry sauce. I'll admit, I've been one who has, I've eaten the canned cranberry sauce and I like it. But let me tell you, once you have the homemade, you will not want to go back. And it really doesn't take a lot of time. All we have here is um, some cranberries. You have some granulated sugar, honey, orange juice, cranberry juice. And I put a little bit of cinnamon on top of mine just because I think Thanksgiving should always have a little bit of cinnamon. So from here, we're going to go straight into it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is get you a nice round skillet and you're going to cut your heat on medium high. And then we're just going to pour our cranberries in, just like that, just pour them in. And then all we're going to do is pour our liquids in. We have our cranberry juice. That sounds good, right guys? We have our orange juice. I'm going to pour in our granulated sugar. And I use quite a bit of sugar because I just, I love my cranberry sauce to be sweet. My kids like it that way too. All right, and then the next thing I'm going to do is pour in my honey. Ooh, I love me some honey and some cranberry sauce. So pour all of that in there. And then what I'm going to do is hit it with just a little bit of cinnamon. Okay, so from here, all we're going to do is stir it up. And this really is not going to take long to cook up. You don't have to cover the pot. You're just going to let this continue to cook. And you, you might come over and stir it every two or three minutes because ultimately what we want to happen is we want the sauce to kind of thicken up and we want the cranberries to burst. And then after we do that, all we're going to do is put it into a container, drop it into the refrigerator, let it gel, and then it's ready to go straight to the table. Okay guys, so remember when we put our ingredients in, I had my heat on medium high. And then after we got everything in and we stirred it up a little bit, I turned it down to medium. I let it cook for about 15 minutes. You don't want to do much more than that. And you see how beautiful this is, nice and gelled. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut my heat off. And then I'm going to take it off of the eye and I'm going to let it cool for about five minutes or so, five to eight minutes. Then we're going to package it to put inside the refrigerator and then we're going to let it gel up and it'll be ready. So you've had your cranberry sauce in the refrigerator for a minimum of four to five hours. Of course, if you leave it overnight, 24 hours, even better. You can also freeze this and save it for a Thanksgiving day so you can make it ahead of time. So I'm going to go ahead and plate a little and taste a little. Mmm, it looks so, so good. It smells so good. All right, let's get a little bit. Mmm, mmm, mmm. <laughs> oh, this is delicious. I love it. It's got some tartness, but it's still really sweet because we use the granulated sugar and the honey. It is so good. You will love this for your Thanksgiving. In order to get all of the measurements, the written measurements and the ingredients, just go to my blog at www.she'sgotflavor.com and you have all the written recipes right there for you. Along with some other good things for Thanksgiving like macaroni and cheese, corn pudding, sweet potato pie, all kinds of great things. So until next time, She's Got Flavor, we'll see you later. Bye bye.